Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my review of the Mid Team 1.4.2 Ice Cream Sandwich ROM based on the LPF kernel for the Galaxy Note N7000. So I've been using this ROM on and off, you know, uh, at least for the 24 hours continuously uh, since yesterday and uh, I find it pretty stable and fast. Uh, a lot of features from the Galaxy S3's TouchWiz UX has been ported over right from the TouchWiz transitions uh, to even a few apps, say for example this calculator app is totally uh, been ported over from the GS3 and uh, the dialer and so on have been themed in a uh, Galaxy S3 manner. So uh, it's pretty uh, good to look at and uh, it's very fast and fluid. Uh, other stuff including the boot animations uh, have also, I mean uh, you've got the ICS boot animation and so on and the, what do you say, uh, the button presses. Uh, I don't know whether you can hear it on cam. Uh, the sounds have been again ported over from a GS3. Uh, overall guys it's pretty stable and a lot of stuff works. Uh, almost everything works. The Play Store loads up without any issues at all. Uh, there have been some, uh, what do you say, good inclu I mean, inclusions. Say for example, you get the multiple shortcuts on the, I mean, on the notification bar. Easy way to access settings over here. Uh, and similarly with the shutdown, I mean with the power button you again get multiple options over here to boot directly into recovery or download mode, restart, power off and so on. Uh, again as far as the camera goes it works perfectly, no issues. You can take uh, 8 megapixel shots without any issues. Uh, similarly there are no issues with the what do you say, 1080p videos as well. Uh, so that's perfect. Okay, as far as apps go, the all the premium suite uh, apps like uh, My Story, where is that? My Story, uh, uh, the S Memo, S Choice apps have all been included, uh, and they work fine. DSP Manager has also been included over here, uh, so everything works. There are no issues with any uh, with Wi-Fi dropping out or Bluetooth dropping out. Uh, Wi-Fi works perfectly. Uh, Bluetooth, AVRCP does work perfect. As in, uh, AVRCP is uh, stands for Audio Video Remote Control Profiles. That is, if you use a stereo headset, Bluetooth headset, uh, AVRCP is what lets you uh, control stuff like pause, play, skip tracks, and so on. We used to have issues with leaked ICS kernels in the past, but right now, no issues at all. This ROM is very, very stable. Uh, okay, let me quickly run a quadrant standard test over here. Let's run a full benchmark. So there you go guys, 3163, so that's pretty decent. Um, okay, coming back. So guys, there are some issues with apps. Say for example, Angry Birds does crash. It will not load up. But uh, there are easy workarounds for this. For any app that crashes, uh, one of these two things would fix it. The first problem, the first thing that you gotta try over here uh, would be, let me just get back. Give me a quick moment here. Alright, so you can go into settings, applications, uh, select the app that, that's crashing, full stop, and move to SD card. And I've go back, and I've launched Angry Birds. And it loads without any issues at all. So guys, uh, so that's, I mean, what I mean to say here is, though there are some issues, uh, the same thing with crayon physics as well, uh, the, game, the game does crash and all you need to do over there is uh, navigate to crayon physics with, the root with any root explorer and go ahead and reinstall the app. You need to go into data slash app and reinstall it and it will work fine. I don't have a root, root explorer installed right now to show you guys, but it's pretty simple. 
so most of the features do work guys uh, I've not come across anything that doesn't work so far and the most important thing let's get to battery life now so it's been on battery for about tw 21 hours uh, 19 uh, of which 19 hours and 19 minutes it's been on battery so that's about two hours of charging in between uh, it's pretty decent I've been, it's been I've been using it moderately not a lot a little bit of Wi-Fi uh, on calls for about three to four hours three hours four hour stops uh, music via Bluetooth for about uh, half an hour and a little bit of videos here and there maximum 20 30 minutes at max so pretty decent stats in my opinion uh, I still have around 41 percent left all right let me so guys uh, this uh, ROM is based on the LPF kernel uh, as you can see uh, ZS LPF um, and all the features work face to face unlock option does work without any issues uh, everything works things that we used to have issues with say for example like the uh, what do you say battery percentage there's a, a mod included you get the circle battery mod over here instead uh, you get the notification vibration notification uh, rings everything works fine there are no issues at all so overall this is a pretty stable ROM guys I've not had any issues with it and I like using it if I'm gonna switch I'm just gonna switch in order to make more installation videos okay. so guys uh, in what do you say the lock screen uh, the animation uh, again and also the shutdown animation have all been ported over directly let me restart it have been ported over directly from the GS3 so that's the GS3 shutdown uh, animation and the boot animation is the ice cream sandwich default ice cream sandwich one so uh, let me just show you that and I'll end this review with that that's the ice cream sandwich boot animation guys so that's pretty much it for the review of the mid team uh, 1.4.2 ice cream sandwich rom uh, guys uh, this is a pretty decent rom there are a few glaring omissions like the s app you know when it comes to ports from the galaxy s3 uh, one thing that you know i've not mentioned one thing that's very very important when it comes to this rom is this rom has the safest method of installation uh, for any ice cream sandwich rom available on xda forums for the Galaxy Note uh, N7000 today, apart from any uh, CM9, or, I mean, apart from any AOSP or CM9 ROMs, that is, if you want a ROM that runs TouchWiz, this is the safest uh, method of installation. This is the safest one available at the moment. So that is the reason why I highly recommend this ROM for you guys. So uh, uh, if if you guys want to install it, my tutorial to install this ROM will be in the description, or uh, I will annotate it onto this video as well. So. That's pretty much it guys. Uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching and if you guys want to help me out, use my link to Amazon in the description. It doesn't necessarily have to be Galaxy Note related stuff. Uh, if you're ordering anything online and if you can order it off Amazon, I tend to make a few bucks if you use if you go through my link. So I'm just putting it out there so if you guys can help me out, please use the link. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or uh, email me, all my contact details are in the description. So once again, thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, hit like, stay subscribed, I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy Note N7000, HTC One X and the Galaxy S3. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.